Okay, uh, this is a, about the uh, video on the general chemistry readiness assessment. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Cheng Yu. I'm a member of faculty in the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology. Uh, I'm a, a part of the instructor team uh, teaching the uh, general chemistry uh, in the fall of uh, 2020. And here we are asking you to take the general chemistry readiness assessment. And this is a, will be a Wednesday of the semester. So it will be a Wednesday of the semester. This is a, a PDF file that will be available for you to have a look at it. I just wanted to go through, uh, give you a brief overview on what this is about. So what we call the GCRA is a, essentially a test, is a multiple uh, choice test. There will be 25 problems uh, will be taken. And then this is, a, a, it is a required, but this will not negatively impact your grade. We just want you to know where you're standing before you're taking this chem, uh, general chemistry uh, 1100 or 1110. Okay? So there are some questions that we'll be asking you to, to do this. And then the, uh, we'll be uh, starting this uh, lectures. And this is actually uh, the, the letter from the Dr. Alex Ma. And he's a essential freshman chemistry coordinator. And he's also give uh, uh, lectures uh, as a, he's one of the three lecturers, uh, Dr. Uh, Jerry Konowski. And uh, there's uh, Steve Tyso is a lecturers of the team. And these are the topics uh, that is uh, included uh, in, in the, uh, the GCRA, and, uh, which is about uh, essentially atoms and uh, typical like significant figures and uh, solving how to solve the problems, and then, then basic uh, chemical bonding and some other topics such as a stoichiometry and solution pH and, and other things. Um, but what I want to, uh, to do is uh, I want to emphasize the available on these two pages. So these are the, what we call the reference sheet and that is available for you to take when you take the one. This is something that you can see. So obviously you don't have to memorize the, this periodic table. Now periodic table, you can have a look at it. And so that's right there for you. And sometimes uh, you need to have a electronegativity uh, of a chart, uh, which is much more electronegative, uh, uh, how which is uh, depending on the, uh, the location in the periodic uh, table. Uh, there is a more tendency to favor the electron, pulling the electron towards themselves. That's what we call electronegativity. And the, uh, also the standard electrochemical potential. There's a section on the electrochemistry. I think this is mainly pertaining to the, uh, there are some more actually Chem, chem 2 topic, but there is a section on, on the electrochemistry, and this is a, a reduction, standard reduction potential is important. And then the, the second page containing to the two panels, and the one panel is about mainly the equation for chemistry 1. And uh, you know, obvious, obvious numbers such as Avogadro's numbers, gas constant in the, the, the what you call the, um, the MKS unit, or the Avogadro's, the gas constant in liter ATM per mole K unit, and the pressure conversion, which is a uh, pressure is uh, quite an important unit. There are different units that people using it. This is an ideal gas law. This is a partial pressures. This is a density. And uh, this is, uh, I guess, uh, based on the kinetic uh, energy uh, law that average speed of a gas with an atomic mass of an uh, m. And, and there are other equations. And then um, so these are the equations that you, have, you are allowed to use it. And this is something about the quantized uh, energies, quantized energy levels in hydrogens. So there are many things. So we are we're going to talk about the heat capacity and energies and pH and, and, and so on. So don't, don't get uh, to stress about if you uh, have um, memory has fainted a little bit. Uh, we're going to go through, definitely uh, going through it. I just want to share that uh, this is something about uh, that we are going to cover the subject, and this reference sheet will be available for you to take the Chem 1 
uh, exams and also the, the, for now what we are taking the what we call the GCRA general chemistry readiness assessment which is not going to be counted as a as your grade but we'll just make it you know, available for you guys and then just uh, this is a second portion that uh, chem 2 uh, I was also involved in the chem 2 and the teaching and the, this is about kinetics and more onto the thermodynamics and and many aspects of, uh, of the chemistry. But for you uh, in the fall, and that's is the subjects that you're going to use, and obviously the, I think the most useful one is this one, right? The, the periodic tables element. So uh, once again, good, good luck uh, with your upcoming the uh, general chemistry uh, readiness assessment. Uh, and then this, once again, will not be, will not uh, add a negative impact your grade. We just know want to know where you're standing. There will be 25 problem, which is multiple choices, and I'm going to put it on the YouTube in the following uh, link, um, and the, you can see that we'll provide the links, and we're going to solve some previous years of problem, and we have uh, going to show it to you. So, uh, okay. Thanks for listening.